Hi everyone. So now we will learn about section list in React Native. So guys, in previous parts we talk about uh, uh, flat list as well as the custom list with the map function. So what is the difference between section list and these previous lists? See, so let's say you have a simple array with the object. That time you can use uh, flat list or uh, you can simply use uh, custom list with the map function. But if you have nested array, that time you can use selection list. So what is the meaning of a nested array there? So let's say you have a array and inside that array you have another array and you want to display the item of both these uh, uh, parent and child array that time you can use section list how i'll tell you so let's start with the points of this part first of all uh, we will make a section data uh, with array after that we will use section list and we will display the item uh, as well as the header header means the main Arrays item and uh, normal items means the nested elements of that array. And after that, uh, we will discuss some important interview questions also. So, uh, this is our emulator to just execute the code. And here we have editor. So, I am just uh, creating the data first. So, let's say I have a const with user's name. And here we have some objects. Let's say ID of that one is one, and name is let's say. Peter right and again they have this uh, Peter have uh, have some skills for example uh, you can say that uh, he know about PHP and JS or about let's say Java or something right so uh, maybe there is a one more user with the ID So let me create some users here. All right. So for let's say we have three users and they have some specific skill set. Just say Peter know the PHP, JS, Java. Sam knows the CSS, HTML, and uh, Bootstrap, and Bruce know the respective skill set. One question that can ask to me: Can we change this key, which is data is there? For a moment, I checked out with the official documentation on the internet also, but there is a no option to change this data key we have to use this data key for nested array all right but maybe in the future because this is a limitation maybe in the future react native will just provide some option or any alternative to to use this data key maybe we can just change it or maybe we can update this key and anything maybe that will come in the upcoming versions but for now we have to use this data key always so maybe if you have uh, some address or if you have let's say some food or uh, skills or anything to show in array we can use only data for the moment all right so now let's simply just use their section list and you need to import it from uh, react native this is already imported there here you can see that and after that we have to just put their uh, sections like which section sections and from where we want to use so we want to use the sections from users right and after that let's say you want to just uh, okay we don't need this comma render the item so just simply use render item there let's take a callback function and let's say you are just putting their items right and uh, after that let's use any any style or any component there or any tag there so i'm just using their uh, text so and let's provide their item and whenever you will just print the item it will just show the data of uh, show the array belong to that data and if you go to error because we have to use their users let's check again here you can see that we have all list of these data but we don't have list of this name or id and all so now let's say you want to just print the name also as a header or you can say that as the main element and inside it you want to print that this data element then just simply come there and render uh, section header after that as i told you we have to simply create a callback function right and let me again just use their text like this okay and uh, now inside this uh, callback function 
we have to change section comma name and you can print this name there why we need to just put their section because maybe like we have id name or email id username we have lots of key that time we have option to just choose one item and now you can see that we got the peter and sam and all but because they are already mix match so i just want to just add some style there so adding style with the main list or you can say that the header uh, we can simply use the color it could be let's say red or anything whatever you want and after that let's say font size it could be 25 and here we go and let's say you want to just uh, add some style with the inner list also so that simply use uh, margin left could be let's say 10 pixel or 20 pixel font size could be let's say 20 and here we go so now you can see that we have the main list like for peter sam and bruce and the data list which is the internal data of every object php java or bootstrap react js everything everything all right so that's uh, all for this part and the interview question can ask like where you should use selection list so you can say that uh, if we have a nested array or we have to show a nested list that time you can use selection list section list otherwise you can use custom list as well as select list so second question can be asked so can we create a nested listing with the help of flat list or custom list yes definitely we can do that but that we need to do manually but section list provide that option by default all right so that's all for this part and i will request you to please uh, like this video subscribe my channel and share your feedback in comment section thank you guys